All right, so I've got the Sentry mounted up on my dash. I decided to kind of just stick it off on the right corner there. So I'm using the suction cup mount. Got it uh, set up there pretty good, out of the way. We'll see how that works out. And I've got it uh, linked up to my iPad here. So we're gonna go out, give it a flight, and uh, see how well it does. Uh, by the way, if you saw my video uh, unboxing uh, this entry, I did show briefly my iPad mount. So this is, this is the little plate that I machined that I stuck to the back of the case. It's got some neodymium magnets on it. And then I have the same plate here that's uh, mounted to the yoke. And uh, it just sticks on. So it comes off real easy and it goes on real easy. Works really well for a yoke mount. So anyways, uh, we can give this uh, thing a flight here, try out the Sentry and uh, I expect it's gonna work just fine. We'll see how it goes. After a little flight here, I'm happy to report that the Sentry works great. Uh, I would say it works every bit as good as my Stratus 2S did. I didn't notice anything different. Um, one thing that I didn't uh, mention in my unboxing video, which I thought was pretty cool, I found this out afterwards, was you can test the carbon monoxide alarm. It's got a piezo buzzer in it that's pretty loud. And you can test that uh, through the app here. So I'll hit test the CO alarm, and then it's just letting me know it's gonna be loud. Uh, I can hit the test alarm button, and then to turn it off, I'll hit the power switch on the unit itself. So let's go ahead and test it. That's very loud. Uh, it sounds like a fire alarm in your home. Very high pitched. I think you would very easily hear this in a, in a noisy cockpit. Push the power button. It uh, extinguishes the alert, and yeah, so that's pretty cool. I will say one thing. I found a video yesterday. Uh, somebody did a YouTube video where they put the Sentry in a sealed container, and they also put a calibrated uh, carbon monoxide monitoring instrument in there at the same time, and they pumped in some carbon monoxide. Well, actually, he had a lighter, and he just uh, turned on the lighter, and of course, it's burning the fuel, and it's creating carbon monoxide. And the, the Sentry never gave off an alert. Uh, it showed on the app, uh, like you can see right here, zero parts per million of carbon monoxide. It, in the video that the guy did, it maintained zero parts per million, even though his calibrated instrument uh, ended up getting up to 120 parts per million. And at 120, you would definitely start feeling pretty sick. So, it, and the Sentry did not give off the alert. So. Um, I don't know if uh, Four Flight or UAvionics is aware of that, or maybe he had a bunk unit. Uh, I might try the same test myself. I don't have a calibrated carbon monoxide instrument, but I can at least put this thing in a sealed container and turn on a lighter, and at some point it should go off. So I might try that test. Um, if there is a problem, hopefully it's something that they can just fix with firmware, and it's not a hardware issue. I can't imagine it would be a hardware issue. Uh, they would have certainly tested all that before they released this thing. So. I don't know. We'll just have to kind of see how that goes. Otherwise, though, um, this is great. Works every bit as good as my Stratus 2S. Uh, I was up for 1.5 hours today, and I used 10% of the battery. Uh, you can monitor your percentage in the app there. So if I do the math, that puts me out to 900 minutes for a full battery, and that's actually 15 hours. So now there's probably, you know, with lithium batteries, you don't want to drain them all the way down. And that's probably why they're saying the 12 hours uh, is because you probably get it down to about uh, maybe 90% uh, used. And that's probably where they're getting their 12 hours. But it, in all appearance, it seems to definitely um, maintain uh, the battery life that they're saying. So 
Good flight today. I like this entry. It, it held up on the dash there very well. It was very secure. I just kind of cleaned off the dash there. It stuck great. I decided not to put it on the window. I, I kind of don't like putting these suction cups on windows. They end up kind of leaving little marks on your plexiglass. So um, yeah, I, I'm just going to stick it there and we'll kind of see how it goes. Very happy with it today.